done. 33 seconds. Okay, that'll be our baseline. You know, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but when a mouse completes a maze, it gets a food pellet. It also gets its brain plucked out with tweezers. And its last meal was a food pellet? You're a monster. <laughs> All right, next we're going to introduce an anxiety-inducing stimulus, measure your stress levels, and see how it affects your problem-solving rate. Very well. And good luck. I'm a pretty laid-back guy. <laughs> Ready? Begin. Why'd you pop it? I'm sorry, I was aiming for your heart. <laughs> Look, I know you don't like it, but that's the point of the experiment. I need to irritate you to find your optimal anxiety zone. And you said no to tickling polka music or watching me eat a banana. Who eats them horizontally? My mother said that's how good girls do it. <laughs> Perhaps this is a waste of time. Sheldon, you're a remarkable scientist. Just be patient. I'm sure you will find the breakthrough you've been looking for. Thank you. And if you only do solid research instead of making a groundbreaking discovery, what does it matter? Only do solid research? I, I come to you for help and you insult me? I thought the least that Look, you would do would be- your anxiety levels are right in the zone. <laughs> really? Oh, that's fantastic. Now, wait, now, wait, they're dropping. Why are they dropping? Because you're happy they're elevated. Oh, that is infuriating. Oh, no, they're going back up again. Terrific. Oh, no, they're going back down. All right, guys, what game do you want to play? Let's see. How about Emily or Cinnamon? <laughs> You know what, I think it's a little weird that you remember me saying all these things. Maybe the truth is you're jealous of all my relationships. Oh, maybe I am. Who wouldn't want to be the girl, or possibly dog, to hear the words, <laughs> you're so lucky, you have the shiniest hair. That is a tough one. I, I know he brushes both of them. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yeah. I have figured out the perfect way for you to irritate me. I'd like for you to be my intellectual sparring partners. From now on, when I make an assertion, I need you to challenge it. So you just want us to disagree with whatever you say? Yes. And you think that's going to help? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to help at all. Oh, no, it will. See, by keeping my mind engaged, I'll become more focused. Uh, Howard's right. That'll never work. Would... <laughs> Stop fighting me on the premise. Like, it's scientifically valid. I'm going to advance propositions. I just want you to challenge me. I don't think that's what you want at all. You... <laughs> but of course it's what I want. Why would I say it's what I want if it's not what I want? Because it is what you want, and it's not what you said. Yeah. <laughs> you for one simple thing and you can't even do it. Yes, we can. Yeah, well, then do it. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Thank you. I think that was helpful. 